Hello, my dear students. My name is Teacher Cosme Robalino, and welcome to your English online class. Today is Wednesday, May the 13th, 2020, and we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, which is the history of computers in particular and the history of technology in general. So, let's take a look. As you can see, we are on page number 64 of your B1 Achievers book. And we have an article that we are going to read and listen to. So let's do the uh, skill that we are developing, which is uh, we are going to read the questions first, and then we are going to listen and read the article. So the question number one, says, when was the first real computing machine invented? Question number two, what do you think Giant Brain was? Three, how many computers were there in the world in 1955? And who was Steve Jobs? So let's read and listen, and then we are going to answer the questions okay so here we go let's bump up the volume a little bit all the way all the way up so we can have a good volume here you go computer world we depend on computers to communicate work study and travel we use them everywhere in our homes, hospitals, offices, and airports. So let's take a look at some key moments in computer history. When were the first computers designed? The first computer, the analytical engine, was designed by the English inventor Charles Babbage in 1834. It was very complicated, and he couldn't afford to build it. His machine was eventually built for the London Science Museum in 1991, and it worked. What happened after that? It took another 100 years for computer technology to take off. In 1937, an American mathematician, George Stibitz, built a machine called Model K in his kitchen. It was the ancestor of the modern digital computer. Three years later, a British mathematical genius, Alan Turing, built a decoding machine called the bomb. This early computer was used to understand secret messages during World War II. The 1940s were exciting times. In 1945, a computer called ENIAC was created by two Americans, John Morkley and J. Presper Eckert. Nicknamed the Giant Brain, it was very fast. What were the first computers like? Although engineers were making rapid progress, the first computers were very large. The Giant Brain was as heavy as five elephants and filled two rooms. In 1943, the chairman of IBM predicted, I think there is a world market for maybe five computers. By 1955, there were still only 250 computers in the world, and they weren't very powerful. A modern mobile phone has more processing power than all the computers used on the 1969 Apollo 11 moon mission. What made computers improve? When RAM, random access memory, and transistors were introduced, computers could operate more quickly and process more information. In 1971, the first microprocessors were designed and floppy disks were produced. They held 100 kilobytes of data, not enough for one digital photo. Although computers were improving, they were still mostly used by business and governments. When did computers arrive in our homes? In 1976, the first user-friendly PC was developed by two American students, Stephen Wozniak and Steve Jobs, 
in a garage. Called Apple One, you built it yourself. It cost a lot. Six hundred and sixty-six dollars and sixty-six cents. And only one hundred machines were made. Then, in 1977, the pre-assembled Apple II was manufactured. It was an instant success and started the home PC revolution. Wow, very interesting. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to click the hotspots uh, button here to show you the vocabulary in this reading. There are only two words, right, that they are showing you. Take off, that means um, start improving, right? Start improving, take off. Uh, an airplane can take off, but also a business can take off. And that means it is improving. And a decoding machine, that means something used to write programs. Okay. So let's go now to the questions that we read at the beginning and let's try to answer the questions. Okay, so as you can remember, the first computer was invented, well, okay, we can say it was invented in 1834. Uh, what do you think Giant Brain was? Uh, it was a big computer, right? Computer in 1945. How many computers were there in the world in 1955? Okay, so there were uh, 250 computers. And who was Steve Jobs? He um, invented the personal computer, the laptop, and many other things. So let's see what the computer, well, the program has to say about my answers. Oh, they are all correct. Great. Okay, so let's move on, shall we? Uh, we are going to. Uh, we are going to uh, work with the vocabulary, okay, the vocabulary on these pictures. Okay, so the vocabulary on the right side of the screen says text messages, television, home computers, MP3 players, mobile phones, audio cassettes, 45 RPM records, the internet, and video recorders. Okay, so the advantage is that I know uh, most of these items. So let's see, let me try. Text messages, uh, this one looks like a text message. A TV, uh, well, a very old looking TV is here. A home computer is right here. It's an Apple computer. An MP3 player is this item over here. A mobile phone is probably this item over here. An audio cassette is over here. A record is right here. The internet is the World Wide Web. And the video recorder is right here. Okay, so let's check. Uh, let's check the answers and they are totally and absolutely correct okay so now we are going to study uh, well we are going to work with some vocabulary some expressions okay so uh, here we have two uh, computer wizards and let's listen to the conversations and uh, to the conversation and then we are going to answer these uh, questions. One. Don't forget to save your work regularly, or you might lose it. Two. Oh no, I've accidentally deleted my file. Don't worry, it'll be in your recycle bin. Three. 
In this exercise, you have to drag and drop your answers. 4. Oh no! My computer has crashed! I can't do my homework! 5. My computer isn't working properly. I've told you before! You must scan your computer for viruses and update your virus software. 6. My computer says it can't run this graphics program. Maybe you need to upgrade the memory. It's not difficult. 7. Why isn't it working? Well, after you've installed the software, you have to shut down the computer and then restart it. 8. I need a hard copy of this letter. OK, let's print it. OK, so let's see. I only have to drop. Don't forget to save your work regularly. Oh no, I've accidentally deleted my file. In this exercise, you have to drag and drop your answers. Oh no, my computer has crashed. Uh, you must scan your computer for viruses and update your virus software. Maybe you need to upgrade the memory. Well, after you've installed the software, you have to shut down the computer and then restart it. I need a hard copy of this letter. Okay, let's print it. Okay, let's check our answers together to see if we are correct or not. Okay, let's do it. Yay, all of them are totally and absolutely correct. Okay, let's see. So the last exercise that we are going to do today is about prepositions. The instruction says drag the prepositions to complete the sentences. Number one, you, lo you upload or transfer a photo uh, onto your computer. You click on an icon to open an app. You connect a cable into your mobile. You scroll up and down, up or down, sorry, up or down a document. You download an app uh, onto your mobile. Uh, okay, you Well, no, we don't have to. Uh, well, okay, so you send a file to another computer, right? Okay, so let's check if we are correct. No, we are not correct. But uh, ah, we left the cursor. Okay, let's try again. Why not? Let's try again. Yes. Okay, so uh, you connect a uh, cable into your mobile and you insert a well I, I am missing ah okay okay I didn't know that you can drag twice okay there you go now we can check and okay can I drag it uh, okay try again Okay, uh, you insert a picture into your document and you connect a cable to your mobile. Okay, let's check together. And now it's totally and absolutely correct. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your participation today. We'll see you in class next time we have class online. Bye-bye, take care.